what is up y'all it is me tasha c and i know some of y'all are probably surprised like wait a minute you gotta be kidding me tasha c is up here tasha c aka tv i have the tasha c show from a podcast is actually back here doing another video and it's not a whole two months that she's been doing for the past almost year yeah yeah i'm trying to be a little more consistent y'all and you know we got the olympics the next couple of weeks whatever so i figured let me go ahead and i figured let me at least try to review uh, maybe one or two shows i ain't gonna guarantee but like i said i'm working progress but yes this is a love and hip hop <laughs> love after lockup um new season what season five episode 81 31 i know like dude, how, how do i smell all the gel or something i usually don't pay attention to like the title of the shows um like that but um yeah we're getting ready for a whole new se uh, season that's starting you know we got like two ads from two of my sis assistant named nick Manini's kitchen with uh, um with the youtube promo and social media and also my other sis named J jayla the self-esteem queen uh, with a light and move um candle lovely candle service but yeah y'all we're back in with another season around ago and this i think they usually have like what five to seven couples put up for us to enjoy and be shocked or be like what the hell and why <laughs> okay some of this looks like a scene from um i ain't gonna lie y'all it kind of reminds me some of this stuff was like kind of remind me they could have been the Tyler Perry movie that I reviewed last week. A <laughs> uh, 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 divorce of Black. Okay, but let me get let's get to the promo and then we'll get back to, and then we'll get started. Gonna be two 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 minutes of promo in your time and you know go ahead and follow uh, follow these uh, lovely ladies, my sis, and I'll be back. We'll get started okay y'all quick little annou announcement or a little pro uh, promo um don't forget to like subscribe my sis channel nini's kitchen this is a little preview you know you'll know what it is you're going to check over on that besides sis we waiting come on sis for you to post a new video but encourage me y'all go check out her channel nini's kitchen with a z um she would do the mukbang she would do storytelling you know blogs etc just real quick but like i said shout out to my, my sis you know y'all go ahead and, and subscribe and so forth you can get like sis uh um, from everything even down to like uh probably some some videos about some edibles but you won't know unless you subscribe it's just we waiting we waiting and also don't forget to follow her now she'll eventually have like more uh social media and stuff like that um but for now this is her this is my uh, nini's kitchen you see right here nini's kitchen with four seven 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 seven, seven. and don't forget to subscribe but okay sis we waiting on you <laughs> all right what is up y'all here if y'all looking for some wonderful high top quality candles and also something maybe to light the mood and stuff then go ahead and go to lightmood.com and get you your candles this is um this girl, founder co-creator and open business is jayla self-esteem queen i'm trying to get her on youtube too but like i said you get candles everything and being creative overcoming the society and so forth she also offers such services as reiki healing sound healing and so forth in person and also over the, the i think over the line or, and or over the phone but shout out to jayla self-esteem queen like the top girl candles for example they smell divine i have pop light whatever but anyway y'all get y'all candles today again her website is like the moon.com by jayla self-esteem queen all right i'm out okay y'all now usually if y'all have never watched this show before they kind they have couples or if you like watched it i've only seen like one episode like the 90 day fiance type thing couples of episodes of those but you know like some of those shows they'll go back and forth between certain groups or certain couples you know it's not like consistent in one setting it go back and forth so i'm going to try my best to go by the couples couples or group of people you know in one setting now the first woman I wanted to talk about because it was all like the women who were waiting who are waiting or it was one couple um at the end which how we got the type of how do I smell come out of jail or whatever um uh Shonda and I think his I don't want if I don't know nobody's remember everybody's name now uh hopefully by the next episode I will okay work with me here it's two something in the morning okay but the first couple um 
is i think her name is zay i don't know if it's zaya zay raya they kind of just show the name of the screen and her husband is um by the name of troy now this is an interesting um scene that we've seen at the, uh, uh for them how she ends up even getting with her her now husband now her she comes from family that you know they have a church um and you know you see her sons uh, are you know she does have one child um and she, they go into the store you know they waiting for a husband to come home so you know they could preach the mom speaks or whatever i don't i don't know what but i guess they feel like you know to be a man you know to like you know to be i don't know how many children they have because i know she has one you, you know younger sibling right but troy's already told her that they not into you know that he's gonna be preaching the word but for some reason they want to preach i don't know if they did that because it turned out this is a second husband but guess what y'all ding 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 this is how she met this is this, this is the interesting shit she, this is how she met her husband short now the daddy of her i mean well biological dad because she didn't sign on a birth certificate anybody now her the child who she uh that she had by her ex-husband He's been in jail because a baby, I think, is like um, he's 11 years old. And they have been in, incarcerated since he was five. And, you know, she, so she, worked, she said she stayed with him even two years. Uh, two years. I forgot when did they end up getting married. It was before or after. But she admitted that she was one of those kids, preacher kids. They didn't tell the spin. Now, I'm like, you know, considering some of the shit that be happening, whatever, nowadays, and you don't want to with people or just find my people you know it's really no big deal sometimes if you're talking about you don't know it's the night shit i'm just saying <laughs> but or you know that you go spend a night or they, they spend night yeah that's all the story but um but anyways y'all she went to go visit her now ex-husband and then she started seeing either her husband said something about troy or she noticed something about troy and i don't and, you know i think like he was a dude that he was talking somehow he slid into the call or the conference or you know somehow she was able to get in contact with him i think i was honestly so shocked but whatever she hasn't been able to make contact with 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 troy or her ex-husband was saying something about like this is his dude or whatever so i don't know like they were like associates associates or there was someone semi-cool but wherever it goes she ends up talking to this dude whatever right and because she's like oh he's so fine and stuff um whatever and i don't know what other qualifications that required now i don't know what her husband did that you know like i said that little jail i know i'm a little repetitive but at the same time you she looking at troy is it because of his fineness so you ain't thinking of like you know of something like a good potential besides oh he's fine or whatever woo, 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 woo. that's it and then she, her, he ends up you know they end up getting married and he's like um you know because you gotta get rid of that other husband she ends up divorcing her first husband and now she's with fine troy or whatever let me drink my water some of my water now i'm not getting in the water because coincidence i'm trying to say that this lady was thirsty but mm -mm -mm. honestly y'all i need a little drink but um <laughs> but uh, um who but but uh what i'm saying is is that huh he ends up adopting her son because she said the father that he had she didn't think he was really a father so i don't know if she was like still together with it it's just some quote holes it's like you got the rebellious preacher kid whatever now i'm not going to say the controversy because later on it shows a couple things that she's going to a psych and astrologist but she's been seen for about a year and i did like her hoping that they put this now this is the reason why because in her car thing it wasn't like no sugar coat and lollipops and stuff it is not book booze is not candy land and none like shit as far as the answer or giving her something that was like you know i'm just gonna like string you along as far as i'm concerned what happens is you you know you got of course lady singh i know she says she's cheap or something i don't know if it's an organization that her and her husband has started but um like i said she's ready for her husband to come home and stuff like that and blah 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 like i said her parent you know they called when it was in the church she was visiting her parents church and like i said they want 
him to minister and preach i don't like i said I don't know is a conversation which at least was what discussed it like is it something that he said he was agreed he was gonna do i'm scratching my head but okay that's their business but anyways y'all why and i repeat why <laughs> why I, I i i have no words but when she she says he's coming out whatever you know it turns out his her a little her little sister is staying with me and she kind of feels like kind of icky because she don't even believe in like wanting to shack up with a man whatever even though this is a husband but she this is the part when i meant to say why she buying him she feels like you know he's got to have this she bought him you know some jewelry and stuff she even got him some money flowers with the crown on it and stuff and she believes in the power of spending money i give it back to you or something some unique affirmation whatever girl, girl when you buy something or get when you give somebody a change you want to use cash just you know fold the money on to you so it comes back to you and stuff what what you, is except have to spend, spend some money for it then it turns out when they talk to troy you know like in a, in an interview because he's not out released yet i don't know which episode he's going to get released in but he's already when she's talking about you know you, you know she's letting her little sister know you can still be yourself you want to be you know in your booty shorts or whatever i guess it's still fun. like mm, no and he's talking like well i'm the husband and i expect her to be out you know it's for me and my wife time and then on top of that not only is she get married this dude you know they ain't a state that obviously you can't you know get it in being married whatever so if you marrying in team based on looks whatever what is the the, the you know they stay with talking her and her little sister talking about they already had a talk well if you know if it, it's little whatever you know supposedly she, they, they'll get it input but I'm, no 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 you decide to marry based on looks he Troy say he's a magnet whatever he gotta get some stuff straightened out when he gets out but he know he is a magnet for the ladies and shit i'm just like this is a disaster waiting to happen and like i said he's already trying to check so i'm wondering how it's going to be the fact that the sister is there and that's already a conflict and he's expecting you know that um you like you know this is my shit you gonna get out whatever you know so i don't know how long you know we're getting this jewelry stuff because she said she spent like did she say 15 or 50 still too much but well, between 50 50 g's 15 g's to 50 g's of spending it on this nigga or whatever you know as far as call bars this and getting you know like getting ready for his you know uh, um outfits you know you know stuff to get home like i said she wants to brag about having a boot boot okay now you know it's nothing wrong with her changing her beliefs whatever but uh, uh whatever you know that that is fine my thing is it's like you know like she wants to brag about well who got this and i got this for them and i believe in spending this and spending this girl <laughs> And then when the sister help with having to talk, then she want to make it seem like she, too, I want to show you this. Because, you know, this after she shows the gift, she bought this Negro. Okay. Um, she going to show on the side, um, the side tattoo. Like, you know, I'm thinking like maybe it's some investments or something like, look, see, I want to show you something, you know, sh show you what. Like I said, you taking the chances, getting married to somebody now you don't know. You don't even fuck with Norm. And when I mean fucking Norm, you don't even know how he d does that. So it's not not to say, <laughs> I'm not saying that don't be the reason why you get married, but dang. Uh, uh, I mean, you what you do all that and you did go through all that. And, um, and all and you know you divorce the first husband only get a, get another dude that's in the in the same circumstances as your first husband was, you know, and but you just know he's a good person, you know. How did how did you know and feel? Did the courts did the world's courts tell you sh that shit? But like I said, back back to what I was saying. She shows that she has a tattoo on the side of rivers named Troy, whatever. Okay, so she's just like, you know, telling the sister we in it for the long run and all this stuff. So the last kind of like the second to last scene before the episode ends. Um, she goes, like I said, to astrologer. And astrologer is like, you know, how I do because she's been going about a year and stuff. And she believes, you know, in the stuff with astrology and Oscar Blase Blase, right? 
um here's the thing her, her she was like are we gonna make it or whatever and she's just like um there's a baby mama there you think they still got some baby mama whatever she was saying and you know i think the astrologer slash like it name was patrice okay and she like i don't know you know yeah i think so i think she might be she was like and then she gonna ask do you think we gonna make it and you know that's a film that she probably thinks any darn way and she wants to have like this fantasy you know i mean there's a such thing what's that that's one of them saying it's like writing your own story and, and but she she may she need to go over and make a couple more damn rough drafts and have that edited you know edited a couple times before she you know <laughs> have the whole story out but yeah y'all the the, the 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 psychic was like you know what um eh nah uh it ain't gonna work out yeah so that she's you know started crying in okay next um the next couple because you know a couple of them you know they try to kind of even it out um the next one i want to get to that was interesting was the kim and joey story now kim and joey story uh, the story is kind of like a lot of people that know each other they from a small town and then you have like kim seems to be like one of those people who is hopeless in love whatever and she's looking for love and she cannot be without love and she wants to save pe certain pacific people who are broken you know at least that's what she's getting me okay um for now now she you know i don't I, I think this is her she's actually still married and trying to get her divorce papers finalized before her man joey comes out now joey somebody she knew on and off for years and then six years ago i think it reposed i don't know if he was already incarcerated or stuff then but joey has been in and out i think of the jail system because he has said he has been dealing with o opioids addiction and he's in a program but you know it's the thing is he's going to be able to still be able to keep up with sobriety when he gets out and her dad like, like i said they know joey and also one of her friends they all know each other like 20 20 or 20 25 years ago the dad knows about joey's ass like i think he stole one of my bikes or something we were going on something now i can't prove shit but i know he ain't up but you know because this kim is like this like you know i you know i have what did she say she hasn't been single since she was five years old or whatever or always had a boyfriend or whatever you know or some going to it was no mention and not to bring up anything i know like in zai's story because i don't know if it's a rise or rise i'm gonna call miss zai the first one that you know goes with troy i don't recall that kim's mother is in the picture so i'm not going to say that because it was no mention but it doesn't mean that she's not there but it was no mention about her i know she's a daddy's girl and the daddy's like yeah you know i love you my baby girl but i'm like just bullshit now she was in a second relationship when they showed like her you know showing the picture but i think it was blown by the second guy or second husband or whatever that she's still pinning they do she was already i don't know if she was pregnant with a second or you know first son and you know she, she's boy's mom whatever but you know they they look as joy is a father number two she claimed that one of the babies you know was asking you know when her dad's gonna come home but they he was calling and um one time and you know they were sitting there with a bedtime story whatever and um and uh she's just like uh uh you know also talking over with she wants to have this car available looking the benefits and she needs joey you know to do something to i guess to get herself situated that you know she need them to get picked up the kids because her kids look like they're like under the age of both eight one seemed like he's like a big toddler you know kind of stage but about to get a toddler stage whatever but you know she has a friend named jennifer and jennifer even's like okay just like the dad you know um she kind of like was watching kids but she's like are you sure what the heck you got in the car for even she's up here like talking like hey you be trying to save people the last man you was with you know he did with alcoholism because you know kim is trying to make him seem like you know he's really a superior but like i said people can change and you know it so forth but jennifer is just looking like okay i know joy for years are you sure this is worth it okay 
and she's sitting here trying to claim like okay he's the one with a boo 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 whatever and it's worth working out um whatever and then it's even seen because this is around christmas time i don't know when this was filmed if this was filmed you know with everybody around the end of last year you know slash over the beginning of this year but uh we have the mom and she is close with his mom she's gonna be watching the babies while she goes and this you know goes and gets her man they got like she's already got set up to have um you know a lovely mountain mountaintop with uh, uh whatever a uh, cat riding view and the, like i said the babies you know uh like about and she ends up actually becoming cool and close with joy's mom what she said you know she when she started going to this particular church she was in a in, in a deep you know like not in a good mindset at the time she was going through rough rough time whatever and um her, she, after her second son was born and he was only like a couple weeks old and they've been close ever since because i mean the mom just comes up and opens up the door and they just her i first thought it was somebody was related to her you know um but um she's all um hugging and they're just talking and she's just like and the mom just all happy like oh pray god this is such a beautiful wonderful thing you know um it didn't be home for christmas and stuff and, and stuff whatever so this is like you know a amped up hallmark movie i guess you can call this and the reason i'm not going to stay on this story really that long is because i think i went through everything so far but like i said kim's story is a little bit interesting interesting as well because like i said it seems like it's a very small town type of thing and she's dealing with somebody that she's trying to save you know somebody she knew from her past and she's like we gonna try again you know type of thing or i want to tr try with this dude but anyway y'all she about to drive and they showed us a couple times for the commercial stuff that comes on whatever right she up here about to drive up and then you know the, the clip people he was like saying some on some lines talking about some shit talking about some uh well uh i got a call from somebody named ashley she like ashley who, who huh what and he and she like and this is on a way i think going to pick him up the mom up here like i said said or hollywood christmas special saying you know praying and is happy that you know he's coming home and you know everybody the better he's already like talked to you know kids had a bedtime story again you know daddy number two you know as joey calls himself but he claims he got this call from somebody claiming ashley claiming that you know she's messing with somebody's husband and i don't know if it's the same dude extra dude you know kim is messing with somebody's husband and she was all messing and hooked up with some light-skinned dude you know he said I'm, well at least he didn't say anything like this like you got spark man or you know wants to say some other stuff you know what i mean or you know thug or whatever else or you know um rise with jigga okay um and she kind of just has this stunned look at the end and so we like huh so that's the end of that story with kim i'm giving y'all this week him and joey whatever like he got this call um by this random person and so we don't know next person we're gonna talk about real quick is latish and i think her husband's name is keith we have it's only was one no it's two couples that they were shown they're not married you know like i said joey and kim are engaged and um i think sean and um and true they're not engaged engaged neither i mean no no they're not married yet neither but let's like i said call a tisha and keep i think his name is keith, keith. but again now tisha has two daughters and like i said this is a red flag these people we up here marrying people we don't know all this other stuff her case she met this dude um they let this dude like her and her friend they sent i guess these pictures i guess like to some data or something to these dudes and she ended up you know find this picture and actually 
she been the quote quote together with this dude for two or three four years and married him in two years and again same thing with the first lady i talking about you know miss church lady whatever you know with the short thing all this other shit and you know found them got hooked up with the guy through her ex-husband and get to the same facility she marries this guy and again she lives somewhere where she can't even she don't even know how it is yet dang they ain't even you, 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 you even get a sample nothing shit so what the hell are you married for <laughs> what if it's the same <laughs> oh gosh so she marrying this dude married to this dude for two years she has a daughter that's close to him which i guess she's been talking to but i don't know if her baby her, her youngest child is like seven eight years old or something like that but she has a daughter who's 15 years old and she you know had a little interview talking to the camera for a second or talk to the side and um she said something that made even sense as an adult like okay i don't think he should just be moving in here and you know aj should have time to sell before he just jumps and move here and as i'm saying is you don't know this dude you don't know this dude you you darn sure don't know this dude we damn sure don't know this dude so the fact that she's married to she got her own business she's you know the counter stuff and even what i think i don't know if it's just i know she they work together i don't know, partners where even she said like you know this is coming pretty fast and you know how they kind of give a preview in advance and the 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 preview that they shown was like you know she wants him to like have like own part of the business and all the stuff that she has or whatever kind now she doing business council she's with the people's money but she has like in her case is a good news that he's actually going to be released a little earlier because they changed the times with the with the crime that he did um I forgot what it's I think in my opinion you know a little, uh, tr drug trend action robber I know um truce in case had to do with robbery and some some had to do larceny I didn't do that or whatever but I know his case whatever the, the crime was is that they would change they changed that so the crime that he has they basically going to reduce his sentence so he's already served the time so it could be all day now when she gets the call she is so happy she's like i love this man blah 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 and her she's acting or doesn't have a concern like she claims like she's trying to understand and be there for her girls but her her daughter has every right like you know i thought i had enough time to be adjusted and she's just like okay i got my man i got my man but like i said she doesn't know this man it's not um one of them I'll, I'll probably bring her up next just to finish this off but one of them she did not know him even prior before he got in there so that's a, a risk number one as is and then the fact is we're not going to say anything but like i said you don't know this person and you're bringing this person around your kids even with those situation with kim like he up here claiming that whoever Ashley is and got this call personally, um, I um, I mean maybe the sisters must have changed over time because I know she was having Kim was having a video call chat with him and stuff, um, in one of the calls. I mean I didn't know like you could directly call them. I thought they can that they have to call you or if they're in the Okay, never mind y'all. Okay, um. But she's just excited about having this man. And she's cool with keeps on whatever. Of course, she's happy with uh, uh, whatever. In this case, again, it's a situation where the families at least are like cool with each other. And she's the, you know, they've been, you know, she, his auntie. And she be, you know, he be up there. You know, she's happy that he's about to get out soon every day. So I don't know what his sentence was prior, you know, to this um, occurring. But like I said, she's just as happy as can be. Can't wait. You know, I've been saving my, you know, myself and whatever. And I can't wait to get out. And But like I said, it's red flags that, you know, like I said, the youngest daughter's looking for a different angle. That she has a close relationship. That she looks at this man as like her daddy figures, obviously. Um, unfortunately, again, you have it where the, the, the sperm donor, a.k.a. The, the biological dad, is obviously not in the picture or whatever and so she sat we have to get on the phone with him you know she's happy that one day he can get off now and the other the other dog is keeping real like congratulations and mom just like you know are you sure you're okay blah 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 and i know you know 
you know how do you feel about him getting out why do you feel this way but it's like it's not looking from the angle of like your daughter she says she loves startups a stand up but her daughter you know you have to realize when you put kids in the middle of stuff like that and especially with strangers so to speak not so to speak it are strangers that mm, 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 and we don't know how that's going to be like when say they get out when he gets out whatever how this ep- uh, you know how is going to be whatever it's like like you putting your kids it, 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 even if it's just emotional jimmy who knows keep might be a great ass guy whatever but the fact that she's kind of looking at her especially like the oldest daughter's <laughs> daughter's like i don't feel comfortable with this you know really you know whatever and she just sitting there uh, sad and her mom just all oh happy happy oh my gosh you know we made it you know all this other stuff it's just all happy and stuff you know it prays like she about to go get the holy spirit it's just like what the hell is this oh my gosh <laughs> so again like i said she didn't know how even the, the d is and stuff what if it's sorry <laughs> god not to say that's enough reason that you should be married body is about just because how good the d or the p is whatever you know or the cat is you know whatever or fashion but I, i'm just saying dang but then she say also one of her friends or somebody married you know married them on the phone you know by the way also check you know my my sis my sis named nick nini's kitchen she 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 she'll she's a wedding official she know she gonna dance she gonna marry you actually i can marry you too whatever i just you know there's nine times a chance a better chance she could do it but yeah you know go go to her website whatever ask her she she what she doing whatever okay talk with her okay and then she depending if you you leave uh, Metro Detroit ever talk to her, you know, at Detroit area, maybe she can even design. So that's how that's how dope she is. I just want to advertise. But yeah, I can marry people too. Uh, you know. So but yeah, I know that that's random. But going to the next door, I'm gonna leave Hope as last. Now Shonda I uh, hope I'm saying there, Shonda Shante and her man is true. He's been actually in jail. I think he was doing a 13 year sentence. And 15 and he was going to the store like you know his dad was not present um and how he was getting in trouble and i think how he ended up getting that sentence he had gotten is you know the great rate drop he was trying to rob break and got caught and he was also the only one out of out of this um the group so far of the season that actually was released in the first episode and like i said he's the one that was like do i smell like jail you know he asked her now shana seems like she's uncomfortable or she got something hot or it's like because here's the interesting part her stepbrother i think or family or one of her family most whatever was the one who introduced them i don't i don't know obviously it may not have been face to face or through pictures and stuff and they've been talking and that i think is a preview he eventually is gets released or already has been released so she's been ain't talking to true and true is a proposing her own guess i guess one of the phone calls whatever but he and her have been just basically auto words either been photos or phone she has not visited him at all and, um whatever and he of course is ready to get some when he gets out whatever and she doesn't even know or feel comfortable about doing that but surprisingly the day of his release and when we get there and this is this is funny truth niece and nephew or <laughs> to these kids on these shows a lot of on this show but a lot of them be having a, a quite a personality whatever right so like i said sh- sto- 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 uh, the story is it just seems like she's with him but for whatever reason she doesn't feel comfortable with like like okay yeah we go together blah blah but she never wants she was always claiming that she was busy but she still must he he's uh, what true says that he had you know that she had his back and so forth whatever but they showed the previews like you know they were talking and he's saying one thing to his family that he gonna stay with them and then she go he claiming he gonna stay with her 
and then you know they talk about you know he usually doesn't do deal, deal with black women and stuff for it it i'm like oh no not one of these <laughs> but um but anyways he says you know um like maybe uh, he was like maybe he feels she, she was feel comfortable or has like you know like maybe she didn't feel so, as secure about it I, I don't know it's just i don't know she just i don't know she's keeping him as a back burner you know what i'm saying i don't know she, you know shante's story is she, she's been talking to somebody else and even though she's been talking to him maybe she just kept him just in case I, i'm just detecting because the fact is is that she kept a relationship didn't want to see him until the day that he was released okay um it's like they went in the story like i said we found like kind of the background or like what true went through and hopefully like he stays out of there you know the last time he was in a, a, a jail like say if he was passing driving by one or something no you know hopefully he does not return unless he was like doing like some like say something out of you know like doing some motivational speaking or something whatever you know, you know what i'm saying but he you know she you know we just go like i said fast forward before there because i want to say because the, the one the whole thing is like the the hope and i'm oh i forgot what that that man's name but forgive me hope like i said i remember next time now and when she gets there she she got her little heal helium ready got the balloons and like i said we see true sister and she like hi lady and they waiting for him to come out you know the the death you asking. Hopefully he ain't gonna do nothing else bad, is he? He is he gonna make sure he um he ain't gonna die. You got Mariah, his little nieces up here, up here like make make sure. I, it was just funny. You had to watch the episode to see what they were saying. And, and saying, and, but you know the sister and both her and Sean are both talking like you ready to get out? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm nervous. She was like I'm nervous too. And I hope he now too. She got she got the sign ready. Wreck them home, and they like hope this last time we don't want to have do this sign again. They got the balloons ready and stuff, and we see him come out. Everybody got coat on, but I, I understand. I, you know, um, looking from impact for things like you ready to get the book get out of there. I don't know what time it is, but you know he got no coat on. But just being able to get out of the fresh air and be a uh, free, and then he's a hugging Sh 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 Sean the first, and you know he's just happy, whatever. But you know, he, like I said, he doing the bird man hands and everything. He like you know he ready to get some whatever. And she was like, I don't know. But we see them kind of like talk in the car. And he just happy he got a hand on the thigh, whatever. You know, I finally get to touch you and everything. And and they kind of, like I said, kind of end with a question mark. So I don't know if they end up smashing at all or what, what. You know, we won't know, I guess, until further notice. But, you know, he hugs, you know, his sister and his two kids. I guess we, I think we meet him hitting his mom later on and stuff. You know, whatever, right? so that's good for that um uh, 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 good for that and we got the last couple i like to say aka hope pink hair you know you know i feel y'all about my pink hair i mean, we're <laughs> my pink hair i miss my pink braids anyway our last interesting person now i'm not trying to talk about her is she i'm not trying to say she racially big as whatever but okay it's interesting enough the first thing we see her i'm like oh hope it and know how to drive a big wheeler and another person only other person woman i know personally that know how to drive trucks and stuff like that or got cdl's period is my sister named nick nini's kitchen oh yeah y'all she gonna date marriage she could cook it every day girls and guess what she has cdl's <laughs> i don't even know how many people we mean who ain't got cdl's that alone woman she's the only woman i know personally and just know a period in real life. This is a second woman with pink hair and nails. And they all were attacked. I know this is random, but I'm just saying hope was interesting. Even just coming on the screen. And this this story is like, what what is going on here? Another one. Just like we start off with what's going on here. We kind of on and off in with what's going on now. Hope. And I forgot. I'm trying to look right now because I don't want to disrespect Hope like man is right. But I'm not just gonna say the man with the triangle tattoo in the middle of his forehead. But that really was what he had. It wasn't like 21 Savage. It wasn't given. It's a knife. No, he had a triangle. I think with some message in the middle. So what? But a lot of pictures when Hope was showing, um, 
they were showing him how they end up meeting or her her story of how they met she ends up saying that um uh you know she did the, i mean what i meant to say is is that you know he he was fine blah blah, blah. but at the same time he had the tests and stuff but he got more tests but he didn't have like the face tattoo and whatever was the triangle and stuff going on and going on in the head whatever you know what i mean so um <laughs> you know going on or going on ahead whatever and it but, but i was like well, what's going on with the head but anyways y'all here's how she met her bae okay i don't know where they say they were engaged or whatever oh I, I don't know what's going on with this right now she met this dude actually by um by her her friend which they showed her back in the day like what about six years ago i think her man was already i don't know if he's been released whatever but it was like one of those things where her man was already serving time or something like that and that's how she met this dude but she was like the first time he got out i was like first time what do you mean uh uh uh, uh first time it turns out y'all after only two months of being with you talking each other and shit this dude gets caught up again barely two months and even when they were talking he was already in a halfway house so they only had an hour in the real world and then they made an arrangement i don't know where it was on his end i don't know if it was his hand i don't know okay whatever they made an arrangement because she was like, okay, I'll be with you, but she still needs some D. And so, I guess, yeah, so he made arrangements where she's allowed to have sex with other dudes in the real world as long as, because that's what I'm saying is the second time it went, that she, I, I, like I said, is she met him and I don't know was the arrangement before he got out the first time and then because he said he seen her phone and seen her with another guy i don't know if it was in the act or whatever but he was like then he felt some type of way and they supposedly made arrangement but he kind of like stopped kind of you know he kind of got feelings and kind of felt like you know he he didn't feel comfortable with that anymore he was actually hurt but she still even though she told him no, nah, I ain't messing with nobody else, you know, no more. No, Hope is still probably getting banged out, you know, uh, once in a while, you know, uh, banged out for what she was basically saying, okay? And, but like I said, what do you do to get two months, to get put, put two months in? I don't know what's going on here, okay? But like I said, they have an arrangement. He looked in the phone, I don't know, before he got too much put in. So Ari was like, dang, you, and then what? <laughs> then they got an arrangement where I get some D, but as long as it ain't attached. But I mean, even though you can have like to not be, you know, romantically attached, or you can even hate the person, it's still getting in. She's still getting dr drilled. She still got, un got, she still got soul ties to w whatever pin or pins. And I don't know if she's still messing with the dude that he, that he seen her in the video with. <laughs> and so, and this is the other unique thing is, I don't know, because I know she said, she you know, with this job, she you know, she does work. Guys try to talk all the time, whatever. <laughs> Um, but she like she ain't having it. She talking to him, but she ain't talking. It just depends which one she wants to talk. Okay, apparently she got sneaker links. She got this nigga, this side nigga, then that nigga. Okay, I I I don't I don't know what's going on here, y'all. Okay, <laughs> so but for some reason, and then we got his mom. Now his mom, I guess her been talking, but you know her mom was kind of that's my boy. I love him. That's my mama's boy. Blah blah blah. You know I don't trust blah blah blah. And, but it's just I don't know why but I was just like I'm still confused about how did he get in trouble that quick and she's about to go pick him up but he ain't released yet so just like with Kim she's this other second person that we see that is in route but hasn't got you know the, the person's about to be released yet they man out yet 
But for whatever reason, they waited for her to come pick up, you know, like the, even the prison um, worker, they said, because they, you know, distorted the person's parts or thing. She, you know, got, you know, she up here, bleh, you know, sick, whatever, had panic attacks, and it's a little bit late. And then his mama, and I don't know why they blurred what was on the front of her shirt, whatever, it looked like that Betty Boob or guys for copyright reasons, whatever. But she's ready for cover. She's like, I'm surprised. Her. I know Hope was supposed to pick her up. I, like I said, I don't know how they like. She has to go through Hope. I mean, they, it, you know, it's like the responsibility, like Hope post pick them up and whatever. And but I think she, they, um, I know it's a lot of fakes. I forgot where she's getting him from and where actually Hope is from because we didn't see where she was but like i said she taking her time she up here just you know spraying hair she, her hair she made but she's like so-called getting ready to pick him up so you know she's already late but like i said the mom said you know that's my son blah 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 i'd rather he'll come out to be with us whatever blah 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 and it's it's just the high I, i'm just like i've lost the words but i can't stop watching at the same damn time not because of me reviewing the show but i'm just like huh so so like I said, with already an interesting arrangement, and the mom are saying I already don't tr trust her as is, and blah blah blah. <sighs> like I said, so when um they talking, and she's like basically like, oh, you here, whatever. She's like, oh my god, she's picking up the truck, you know, the park, the park where you drive, but you don't have like the big wheel or you know all the wheels, the, you know, the part of the rest of the truck alone that be on them big wheelers, whatever and you know she and then hope started like kind of like they talking like, mm -hmm, you know but uh, who's been taking care of him okay and the mom's like i'm doing the best i can whatever you know you can't sit here and blah 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 and it's kind of like okay they up here okay bragging about who you know it's basically like why is oh you sitting here doing this with his mom you know um with this whole thing reminding about what you do for him um whatever like that's something to brag about the thing is, it's like, why did he put himself in that damn situation in the first place? And you sit here bragging and basically like, I mean, he gonna come at me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm surprised. Well, I should be able to come him and that's my mouth. Boy, that's blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, oh my gosh, how is this going to end? Who's it going to go with? And like I said, it sure was an ending like we seen like true sister and his niece nephew and shouted like that in the end. And, um, but you know, and, but Kim was just, I think, just going by herself, you know, before whatever this coco call joy supposedly had or information he got and shit so but they up there talking so the whole conflict is with them is basically like you know what you did to me whatever you know i want my son to come home with me and it, 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 all this other stuff and then even though of course uh, uh, you know it shouldn't be surprised that she shouldn't have to like go through some veins to see you know if she wants to see her son or is it going to be a problem because oh that's why the mom was saying you know is it going to be a man show blah, blah blah and that's when the story hope started talking about and then we had an interview with her uh, uh with with the dude that she's quote quote with in parentheses because you know that ain't her only one but um but I, i'm just like what so it's a thing where he already was let, you know she was already late coming there and her explanation the mom was like i had to look good and all this other stuff whatever well but like i said i i'm I, i'm i'm just <laughs> I, I i i'm like i'm question marking i'm i'm i'm, I'm question marking a lot of stuff i i i really don't have any like having um having more words based on that but that that's that's what else i'm going uh, uh i'm going to um say i was trying to, to see and get yeah they just showed like hope um offer uh, has um oh i think that's his name offer i don't want to mess up his name has hook. okay yeah but yeah this look like it's gonna be a cray cray season and shit y'all whatever so i don't know how hope and offer in the mama situation gonna go um and uh, at the same time is hope gonna let the other it go what the, it, it, it is a lot going on going on here but like i said it's first impressions i hope y'all enjoyed my review recap of this madness 
right hugs and loves i hope y'all enjoyed the rest of the remaining weekend and the rest of the remaining week of the last week of july august starts on the first on thursday 2024 but anyway y'all i'm about to get out of here and i will see y'all i will see y'all